guys, we are back. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. As always, it is so great to see you. And friends, welcome to Photography Talk episode 86. And we have a lot of news to get to this week. We're going to be talking about a new camera from Sony, more exciting features from Luminar AI, and details on the potential resolution of the EOS R3 sensor. But before we dive into these stories, you know, every time I do these videos, I have to let you guys know we're trying to grow this channel. So every time that you hit a like button or hit the like button down below it is greatly appreciated because we put these videos together to help you give you little news nuggets to keep you on top of what's happening in the industry today and youtube is also about helping people as well so when you hit that like button it's telling YouTube this video is helpful. YouTube's gonna share this video with other people, bringing more people aware of this channel. So my friend, that circle is complete and I owe you a lot of gratitude. That said, let's get on to, you know what, actually, before I get on to the news, uh, I do guys, I do have to let you guys know that next week, we're gonna start releasing the 2021 $100 Canvas shootout videos. You see, uh, over the last handful of years, what we did was uh, 2019, we compared uh, three canvas companies. Last year we compared seven uh, and this year we're comparing 11. Now if you watched last year or the year before episode, uh, you may know that we put all the videos or all the reviews in one condensed well, it wasn't really condensed. It was a two hour video last year, uh, but we put it all in one video. This year, we're taking a little different approach. We're each uh, company or canvas that we review, we're making a little small bite sized video that you can watch. So you can move from one company to the next to the next, watch 11 episodes, and then ultimately the last episode that we're going to release will uh, crown the 2021 uh, canvas shootout champion. So this could be exciting. Now, with that little tidbit out of the way, let's get on to this week's news. Now, Sony has come out with a new camera and it's specifically for vloggers. Now, this thing is called the ZVE-10, which is, that's a mouthful. Now, this camera has a 24.2 megapixel APS-C sensor, a Bionz X processor, fully articulating screen, and a high quality microphone. Now the camera also comes equipped with a tally light, a hot shoe for additional accessories, and the ability to shoot 4K video at 30 frames per second. Now you also get the option of shooting an H-Log, S-Log 2, S-Log 3, and S-Log Gamma 2 Cine as well. The camera also doubles as a webcam and has live streaming capabilities in addition to a button that instantly switches from one frame rate to another. Now, there's even a background to focus mode, eye detection, face detection, and touch tracking for video. Now the camera will be priced at around $700 for the body only and about $800 for the body and a 15, or excuse me, a 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens. Now time will tell if this is a successful camera for Sony, but with all the popularity of vlogging, it seems like a really good option. Of course, we'll find out soon. Now here's one of those companies that I really enjoy watching. Skylon keeps on proving Luminar AI, and this time it's added a new portrait uh, bokeh AI tool as its primary new feature. Basically, portrait AI allows you to adjust the bokeh in a photo, kind of like the portrait mode in your iPhone, only better. Now Luminar AI uses depth mapping tools to isolate the subject in the photo. This enables you to adjust the bokeh levels of the background from one to 100 and that's a percent rather so one to 100 percent now you can also add bokeh to a photo that has none and simply use the tool to fine tune an image that already has bokeh that's pretty slick now to go along with portrait ai you can use the new intelligent mass creation tool that recognizes people and mask them quickly and easily so this is really ideal for separating the subject and the background so if you already have luminar ai this update is free if you're new to luminar ai well Check out the description down below for a download to a free trial. We know that the US R3 is being tested at the Olympics. We also know that it will be announced sometime before the end of this year. But what wasn't known was the sensor resolution or what it might be. But Canon might have let the cat out of the bag. Now rumors indicate that the R3 will have a sensor with a resolution of around 24 megapixels and 
as you know, many people have been really speculating that the sensor would be around 30 megapixels, so a 24 megapixel sensor really isn't that far off. Now you might be wondering why the resolution might be so low compared to something like the R5. Well, when shooting at 30 frames per second, the R3 will be collecting tons of data, so adding more megapixels is really only going to slow the process of pushing all that data through. Secondly, this camera, when you think about it, who are the demographics, who the audience of this camera is really aimed at, and that is photojournalists and sports photographers, both of which really typically like lesser resolution cameras, so their images can be sent out much more quickly. Now we're gonna have to wait to see if the 24 megapixel mark is true or not. Thankfully, hey, we're not gonna have to wait much longer. All right, let's close off with a quick chat about our current giveaway. Here are the prizes that we have available. A Razer Core X eGPU, a Nomadic shoulder bag, and of course, the old faithful $100 Adorama gift card. As always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So get watching some of our other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you registered on the site and introduce yourself during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But friend, as I keep saying over and over again, swing on by, say hello. We would love to see you. And that is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on the site and how to say hello in the forum, check out the description below. Good luck. Well, there you go, guys. Episode 86. Wow. We're closing in on 90. Guys, these videos we put together every single week to be bite-sized and easy to digest. So as I mentioned earlier, it's that time of the video where I'm gonna ask you to do all that YouTube stuff that really does help us out. So if you found some value, if you were mildly entertained with this video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. Sure would appreciate it. And hey, if you're not subscribed to the channel, we do this, we have a lot of fun on this channel. We would love to have you part of it. So consider hitting that subscribe button. Hey, while you're at it, hit that bell. So therefore you're notified each time we come out with a video like this. My friend, I'm going to be jumping out of my studio so you get out there, stay healthy, and create your best shot.